Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Stormy Daniels lawyer in major trouble after Trump opens a closet full of corruption. The issues and controversies surrounding Stormy Daniels seem to not be going away. She is increasingly taking media interviews in an effort to remain relevant. Now the president is going to have the last laugh. Because Daniels' attorney is in for a rude awakening. At the request of President Trump, the Inspector General of the Treasury Department is investigating Daniels' lawyer named Michael Avenatti. The charges are obtaining confidential banking records pertaining to a controlled company by Michael Cohen who is the president's personal attorney outside the White House. The Right Scoop reported. The Inspector General's counsel, Rich Delmer, said that the office is looking into allegations that suspicious activity reports filed about Cohen's banking transactions were improperly disseminated, according to the Post. Avenatti on Tuesday went public with detailed claims about Cohen's banking history, including allegations that he received $500,000 from a company controlled by a Russian oligarch in the months following the 2016 presidential election. The payment was, according to Avenatti, deposited in an account for a company that was also used to pay Daniels $130,000 as part of her non-disclosure agreement weeks before the 2016 vote. Avenatti also revealed that AT&T, the Swiss drug company Novartis, and aircraft manufacturer Korea Aerospace Industries, all of which had business considerations with the federal government, had made payments to Cohen. The companies later confirmed the payments, which are under investigation by special counsel Robert Mueller. Avenatti refused to reveal his source for this information and said investigators should reveal the suspicious activity reports filed on Cohen's account. Such reports are filed if an unusual transaction of over $10,000 is made, and experts told the Post that Avenatti's information could have come from a report filed by Cohen's bank. This is not the end of this dispute though. The lawyers are having it out and it looks like it is going to be a bloody fight. Avenatti took to social media to allege that Cohen's dealings were not completely made public and that he would make it so if Trump's lawyers didn't cut it out. Fox News reported, Cohen is involved in a legal battle with Avenatti and his client, Daniels, over a $130,000 payment to the adult film star in the days leading up to the 2016 presidential election. The payment was made in exchange for her silence about an alleged sexual encounter with Trump more than a decade ago. Cohen is also under criminal investigation as part of a grand jury probe of his personal business dealings. The investigation is being led by the U.S. Attorney's Office in the Southern District of New York. Companies AT&T and pharmaceutical giant Novartis both said they'd hired Cohen's essential consultants to assist them in understanding President Trump as his administration kicked off. Novartis said in a statement that it paid Cohen $1.2 million for services, though the relationship ended after one meeting. AT&T confirmed that it had also hired essential consultants, as well as other companies, in early 2017 to provide insights into understanding the new administration. It said Cohen's firm didn't do any legal or lobbying work for us and the contract between the parties expired in December 2017. The firms both said they were contacted by special counsel Robert Mueller's team about their connection to Cohen. Mueller is probing Russian influence in the 2016 election. Daniel's lawyer has also been going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Fox News reporters and journalists. Tucker Carlson offered for him to come on their show but he refused asking instead to go on Sean Hannity's show. The result ended with a back and forth on social media where Avenatti accused Carlson of lying in order to get publicity. Shortly thereafter Carlson went on his show and bashed Avenatti accusing him of being shady and creepy and being the type of person who people who not want in or near their home. Furthermore, of arguing that the reason Avenatti does not want on Fox News is that he is too busy over at CNN and that when they tire of him he is welcome over at Fox News. The real question that everyone wants to be answered is what this Daniels situation has anything to do with real political issues? It appears to be nothing more than a crusade by the left to try and persecute the president for not being able to do so with the fake Russian collusion investigation. Whether Daniels and Trump had an affair or not is irrelevant. It could be true, and if so that is wrong. But infidelity has nothing to do with capability in the White House. Frankly, nobody cares. Instead of focusing on fake non-news stories that have nothing to do with the real issues that are going on the media should be focusing on larger issues like what the Assad regime is doing in Syria and Iran's attempts to help them. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.